Thursday is a rare day. Every four years, February 29th is added to our calendar. It's a day commonly known as leap year. Yes. A year commonly known as leap year. I exactly, guess. right? And we've heard it before growing up. But have you ever wondered what really is the deal with the extra day? <laughs> Meteorologist Lauren Rainson did some digging. She's joining us now to explain how the leap year really even came to be. Okay, what's the point? Okay, I know it's not even 6 a.m., but I need you to go ahead and put on your thinking caps this morning. So one year is 365 days, or the time it takes for the Earth to make an orbit around the sun. Well, look at there. Technically, a year is longer than 365 days. So that extra quarter of a year, not quite a quarter of a day, excuse me, it needs to be accounted for somehow, some way, because if it's not in 100 years, we're going to be off by 24 days, meaning we would celebrate the first day of spring in February and eventually the 4th of July would be in the winter. So that's why we got to go back after all of those calculations and add that extra day to the calendar every four years. Problem solved? Eh, still not completely because back to the math, back to the calculations. At this rate, in 100 years, we're still going to be off by 18 hours. So that 18 hours, we need to take that into account. Okay, so now we have to look at the century years. You see here, not all century years are leap years. 1700, 1800, 1900, those years were skipped over. In the year 2000, that was a leap year. In order for a century year to be a century leap year, that needs to be evenly divided by 400. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work out because back to the calculator again with all this in place, Alas, it's going to take us over 3,000 years for us to be off by one day. So still not entirely perfect, but this is why we have leap year every four years. Thank you, Lauren, for solving it for us. We appreciate the extra help in getting into some of those details, and now you can tell all your friends about it. You learned it right here on Today in AZ.